I wanted to demonstrate the control that these home-built mechanical hammers can have, especially if you decrease the distance between this upper rotating assembly and the bottom die. That's not something you want to do all the time because you're not going to have room for tooling or large pieces in there if you're doing larger work. <clears throat> but by raising this bottom die up or lowering the top rotating assembly, um, you can really slow down the speed of the hammer and still get fairly powerful strikes on your workpiece. So it's basically would be the same concept as the uh, adjustable crosshead on the little giant hammers, which is what I'm looking to do on this uh, tire hammer. But before I go and spend all the time on that, I'm just doing a little work. It's just one inch uh, square stock, four pieces cut and shimmed up underneath the bottom die. Still plenty powerful. really well. It's a simple way to do it, but uh, with the adjustable cross head, it have a lot more um, adjustment than just the one inch up or down. I mean, you can make different size blocks, but uh, it's just something I'm playing with.